right. <laughs> Sorry to have you stare at the floor. <laughs> All right. Let's see now. We are getting ready to start a new build series. And uh, yeah, we bring you along for the ride. So, what we have here, we have the Yak Games Pinball. So I played it for a while. Tables are okay. Um, not really a big fan of that, that exciter. I, I think that was a miss. You know, thing tends to buzz and rattle. It, it, it actually sucks. I don't know why they thought that was a great design decision, but that was an awful design decision. Right. In any case, so what we plan on doing, right? So there's two things. We are going to, so what we did was we took out this glass, we took out the screen. Um, we already had the bibs board, and what we did was we mounted uh, the, the the button for the bibs right here, so it's nice and easy to get to. So yeah, just a quick, boop, boop, right there. And right now, the plan, or I guess the plan today is to come up with a plan. All right. So the vision is to. Uh, prepare for OTG, right? So you want a computer, but I don't feel like having a computer outside. I like to, I like my builds to be um, seamless in terms of um, you don't know that there's a computer there unless I tell you there's a computer there, right? So looking and seeing if we have opportunities for reuse. You know, reuse is always good. So. Back here, um, first thing that comes to mind is this thing here. This is a power supply. Um, haven't taken it apart. I don't think I'm going to take it apart. Um, but what's important about the power supply is the cable that's coming to it, right? So it looks like it's a it looks like a uh, um, is that, is that a 12? No, that's not 12, it's 15. Right? Or is it 12 and 14? Whatever it is, it's, it looks like it's a good gauge wire. Um, so um, I did not measure what the, the voltage was here. I probably should measure what that voltage is. Um, but see if we can reuse that. But I already have a uh, another um, power supply. So the thought is to just tee off of that, right? Cut this, splice into it, right? And have my power supply where I'm running uh, the things I need to run. So um, so we have some components here, not all, right? So we already have the At Games control board here, the aftermarket one that they sold. Um, we have, so funny story, I was trying to get, I'm gonna do my normal small form factor build because for VPX, Future Pinball, you really, not Future Pinball, but VPX and Pinball FX3, um, you really only need a 1050 Ti you can get the small form factor one. 1650 would have been perfect, but uh, with the chip shortages, what I found, <laughs> what's funny enough, was that this full size card was much cheaper. The 1650 was going between 300 and 400 dollars. You know, most of the bids are just driving and racking up the price on eBay, right? So, you know, you're, and you're finding it on Amazon for 400 dollars. Got this for 190. <laughs> eBay. <laughs> so this is a GTX 980. It's a bigger card, right? Um, it's actually more power, so more TDP than the uh, uh, than the small form, the small, the low profile cards. But this uh, performs better, actually. Um, it's an older card, so it's um, I don't know what the nanometer technology is in the. Uh, GTX 1650, but obviously this is a uh, larger size now. I mean the technology. Um, I think it's just previous generation, right? Um, so the second 
thought was to see if I can use this with the, you know, that's just an HP Elite Desk 800 G2, right? And you can, so there's an adapter for it, right? And I tried using it, all right? So there's this thing, right? So it, you get it on Amazon, it adapts to the HP proprietary format, right? It takes the standard ATX power supply and adapts for it, right? And that works, except I need to deconstruct the whole thing and take out the, the front USB and the front audio else. The, uh, this thing will always complain about not having it. And I try to disable it in the uh, mother in the BIOS, but it still complained. So where we pivoted, right? So I don't feel like dealing with any of that. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to take the CPU and RAM out of this, and we're going to put it on this nice. Asus motherboard, so it's the same um, uh, LG 1151 processor, so same form factor, so micro ATX, right? And now we don't have to deal with that proprietary bullcrap, right? <laughs> so um, that is the, you know, so we got this another eBay special, so we got this from eBay. So what are we waiting on? We are waiting on the case. So I found this open frame case, um, and and the reason so normally what I would do, um, and what I did in that thing, um, so for the video cards, the small form factor video cards, they don't sit as high, so there's not much high. So you just bend the uh, the back, the bottom pins, and you bend them down, right, so that they don't go anywhere, right. This one's a bit big. <laughs> this thing is, and it's freaking heavy. I didn't, I didn't know those things are so heavy. So um, the solution was, it cost 50 bucks, and it sucks, but it's a open frame case where, you know, it would just, it just has standoffs. Um, these aluminum thing has standoffs, but it has these things that rise from the standoffs so that you can tie into the the top of it so this thing doesn't move so we're waiting on that when that comes and we just gotta figure out how we're gonna melt the bad boy all right so could fit like that all right obviously we have to move this wire the wire is over all right could fit something like that, maybe. Or maybe just in the middle itself, who knows, right? I don't think I have enough clearance to put it vertical. But maybe right there, right? And then, we need to figure out how we're gonna mount the solenoids. So, maybe the solenoids are going in underneath here. So the back ones, the front ones, put the ones on the side for the, uh, the flippers, right? The contactors, you know, or maybe just take this same format here and then put another uh, brace across there where we can mount things. So, you know, we have some options. We just gotta figure out what, we're, what we wanna do, right? So that is the, that is the goal here is to, or I guess right now is to get a game plan. What do you want to do? So obviously we want to put, mount the computer inside, right? And what we're going to do is in the, uh, wherever the header is, am I going to have to look this up on the int internets? It's right here. Where's it right here? Where's the front panel header? One of those the front panel letters. Whatever. Wherever the, the, the power switch lands. Um thought is place in this bad boy, since this is just, you know, when it's for for the AOP, what it's doing is just switching between 
the back glass and your, your monitor, right? The vibs, right? So that's what it's doing. It's just, it's just a toggle switch, right? Momentary toggle switch. You hit it, and it goes to your computer. You hit it, it comes back. Why not just have this plug into this thing as well in the motherboard and when you hit it, it turns on the computer and when you hit it again, it turns off. So that's the thought. So use that as the, double it up as the VIP switch as well as the power switch. Okay, so as soon as you, you go to OTG mode and you hit this thing, it'll turn the computer on and the computer will start to go. So it'll be kind of nice like a startup type deal. Right, um, and then the power for the power supplier. As I mentioned, we're gonna come off of that, and what that buys us is it will look like this: a single input, and maybe we put a uh, little uh, uh, network switch here. Right, and then now we have a single input for the thing, and we can have both our computer and the uh, ALP uh, network if I were to plug it into an ethernet cable, all right? So let's see the thought, but first we gotta figure out how we're gonna lay this out. So we need to figure out where the solenoid's gonna go. And is that all we're gonna get is just solenoids? You know, I see some people got big ass base shaker right here. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. Um, there's also the opportunity for surround sound feedback, right? So, you know, we could take a, the opportunity to put uh, underneath here um, exciters, but I don't, I don't know if this is actually contacting the, uh, by the appearance of this thing, it looks like it is if it's contacting the uh, the screen. I want to put exciters on something that's contacting the screen. Right. So now, so you can put the surround sound feedback in on uh, 7.1 and then you can simulate where the ball is rolling, stuff like that. So uh, that's the first part is to figure this thing out. The second part, to figure out how much of this back box that we're gonna reuse. Okay, quick update. What did we do? We were taking the plexi off <laughs> and there's no going back now. The uh, plexi kind of ripped right at the tape seam. So can't reuse that as is, right? We weren't planning on reusing it anyways, but what's interesting is uh, I was able to get the monitor out really easily. Um, I guess this version right here, they had some glue here. Heat it up a little bit, the glue comes out real easy. Right. And here is the back of the monitor. You can see, I guess mine, you can still feel the stickiness, but it's not as sticky as it needs to be. All right, that's a good. And here's the model number. Uh, the monitor that they're using. Okay, so just in case you mess up, this is what it is. <laughs> All right. All right. So there's two ways to take that thing apart. I did start with this, <laughs> right? But then, as you see, it wasn't working out for me real well. Then I got the heat gun out, and it looks like everything is just. Uh, glued together, so you're taking that apart, heat gun's your best bet. Let's heat it up, <laughs> take a chisel, right? <laughs> Comes apart real easy once it's heated up. I do recommend this heat gun, uh, it's a port of cable, really nice, solid one. And any heat gun that you can uh, set up like that, it's great. You don't have to hold it. So, yeah, back box apart. So now what we're gonna do, we're going to uh, take it on the uh, table saw. All 
nice and easy. Easy peasy. All right, we're gonna leave this right here. That amount, I think. We'll see. We'll see.